however vast the universe is with massive black holes, bright stars, faraway galaxies, there are still so many other things to explore. And there is always one challenge scientists face, which is the distance to get to such amazing places. For example, before traveling to space, it takes a gruesome three months to get there. However, there has been an accidental discovery that shows great promises to fix the distance problem of traveling and exploring the universe. In today's video, we will be discussing the new discoveries made by scientists and how it affects space travel. Without further ado, let's get into it. NASA scientists have accidentally discovered the first ever warp bubble to help fix space travel. Most people are familiar with the concept of warp drive through what they've seen on Star Trek. Warp drive, the ability to travel faster than light, is entirely a product of science fiction. Or at least it was until now. According to the latest report of the world's first warp bubble emerged as a recent accidental discovery by DARPA-funded researchers. The Limitless Space Institute (LS), led by former NASA warp drive expert Dr. Harold G. Sonny White, has spotted an interesting encounter that could be used by the spacecraft for faster travels. The discovery took place during a research project studying, nor the 1994 theories of mathematician Miguel Alcubierre that first offered the potential for what warp drive technology might look like. Rather, this happened during a project studying Casimir cavities and their ability to produce energy. Through an incredibly serendipitous happenstance, it took an engineer conducting the research at the exact right time at the right moment, one who was familiar with warp technology research and knew what he was looking at, to realize that this totally unrelated research had produced a warp bubble. The observed effect was not an analog, not something similar to a warp bubble, but a very small, very humble, true-to-life structure that matched Alcubierre's research perfectly. For the first time, we know what physical tools it's going to take to create a real warp bubble. This means that warp field theory has made the move from outlandish science fiction into something that we can actually build in the real world using tools and technology we already have. To better understand this new discovery, we have to also understand the concept behind the warp drive. The recent spacecraft are limited to the laws of standard Einsteinian physics, and take for example, to accelerate your ship, you have to throw something in the opposite direction to the one in which you wish to travel. Throughout the history of aviation and aeronautics, this meant burning fuel and shooting out the back of the ship in a vigorous physical reaction. The limitation of this approach is that eventually you run out of stuff to throw. The other limitation is that your ship is still subject to Einstein's equation describing special relativity, which states that as you approach the speed of light, more and more of the energy you expend goes into increasing your own mass until you reach the point where no matter how much energy you put in, you cannot go any faster, and you never quite reach the speed of light. It's impossible to accelerate faster than light using standard physics because your ship just gets more massive the more energy you put in, and it gets so massive you can't do anything more with it. The concept of the Alcubierre warp bubble makes things interesting. To explain this, if you surround the local Euclidean space your ship occupies with a warp bubble and then push the warp bubble instead of the ship itself, Einstein's equation is sidestepped. It's still valid inside the warp bubble, but the bubble itself can theoretically move faster than light without breaking the laws of physics to do it. The idea of a warp drive rests on the principle that under the right conditions, space-time itself can contract. That's where the Casimir effect comes in. The Casimir effect for the uninitiated is a very small attractive force that exists between two uncharged but conductive parallel plates that are held very, very close together. It used to be a purely hypothetical offshoot of relativity, it would drag a spacecraft forward by contracting space itself in front of the vessel's nose. This would mean that a hypothetical vessel could break the cosmic speed limit by arriving at their destination faster than the speed of light, without ever having to accelerate its squishy human passengers to relativistic speeds. 
Sorry to our fellow hopeful space nerds, but we have to burst everyone's warp bubble. Despite recent reports that scientists have accidentally created a warp bubble, it looks like warp speed is still a few baby steps away. But all hope is not lost. A group of scientists led by Dr. Harold G. Sonny White has proposed a structure that could actually be built in the real world and used to study the Casimir effect. It might be a baby step, but it's a real one. The study was conjectural, and in the paper they explicitly acknowledge it as such. Nevertheless, several initial write-ups of the paper framed things incorrectly. This resulted in various articles claiming the new discovery represented the creation of an actual real-world warp bubble. The quote below is representative of the initial confusion. To be clear, our finding is not a warp bubble analog. It is a real, albeit humble and tiny, warp bubble. White told the debrief, quickly dispensing with the notion that this is anything other than the creation of an actual real-world warp bubble, hence the significance. But this statement is not supported by the paper, as Dr. White made plain when we contacted him for an interview. One thing I want to make sure I'm very clear on here, he explained to Extreme Tech, is that we did some numerical analysis to identify a real structure that one could manufacture that is predicted to manifest a real warp bubble. We have not built a real warp bubble in the lab. The whole premise of real and analog is meant in the context of the physics parlance. Being an analog of another phenomenon means that there is an unavoidable disconnect. Research results may not generalize between the two. This is the same reason that a drug that's demonstrated to work in mouse models doesn't always make it out of human clinical testing. Mice, pigs, and monkeys are useful biological analogs to humans, but the overlap isn't perfect. There are ways of learning about the physics of one thing by looking at another, Dr. White explained, that phenomena exist called acoustic black holes, which behave like black holes in useful ways that we can study without actually being black holes themselves. Acoustic black holes can trap sound waves within a volume of fluid. It's not unlike the way a black hole traps light waves within a volume of space. While conducting analysis related to DARPA-funded project to evaluate possible structure of the energy density present in a Casimir cavity, as predicted by the dynamic vacuum model, reads the actual findings published in the peer-reviewed European Physical Journal. A micro-nanoscale structure has been discovered that predicts negative energy density distribution that closely matches requirements for the Alcubierre metric, and that in turn opens the door to investigation of possible future investigation of warp fields and potential applications scientific study of the potential of warp drive is now officially on the table. The warp bubble observed is tiny, we're talking nanoscale tiny, and a result of negative energy research using Casimir cavities exploiting some of the bizarre quantum physics effects to those unusual structures. While this is very much a beginning, it opens the opportunity to do more research into the specific question of warp bubbles and Alcubierre's equations because as it happens out, Alcubierre turned out to be right. So with that, this video has come to an end. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more updates. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys later.